I've been trying to get your attention for the last five minutes. You were miles away. <laughs> what planet are you on? Hello, you. Sorry. Deep in planet Gaga. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Thought I might bump into you today. You running late too? Oh, a little. And I'm going to get an earful as well. I just know it. The boss is on holiday for a week. So I'm on Easy Street for a few days. But she's left Leo in charge. He might be a mediocre assistant office manager. But he's the kind of guy who, if you told him to go fuck himself, he probably would. How are you? You're looking well. Thanks. Put on a bit of weight since I last saw you. All those summer parties. And I've been really naughty, missing my spinning classes. How's things with you? Yeah, not bad. Me and Alan are back together. Again. What are you two like? Someone needs to bang your heads together. Oh, please don't. This is his last chance. He knows he can't afford to screw up. I'm not going through that again. Has his divorce come through again? Well, he's finally reached the growth and emergence stage, as he puts it. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> it's ongoing, you know. He doesn't want to push it. He wants to keep it amicable for the kids. So basically, she's got him by the balls. He's coming to save us. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But he will come. God. How can I always attract the nutters? Me too. There was one on my train the other day. I haven't seen this one before, though, and I walk this way every day. Oh, what's the goss on your sister? Oh, yeah, what's the goss on your sister, Becca? Not on a Monday morning. I'm not in the mood. How come he knows my name? <laughs> Must have been listening to our conversation. Tell her all about your sister, Becca. Go on. Tell her what Natasha's been up to. Do I know you? Oh, don't take the bait, Bex. Do I know you? <sighs> I can't get involved with this. I haven't got the time. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> Who don't I know? It's lovely to see you. We should do it again, <laughs> properly, I mean. Yeah, I'll Skype you. Listen. I'm really pleased to hear about you and Alan. I hope things work out. His kids need him. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know. If he comes with the baggage, I don't have to know how to choose him. <laughs> anyway, I really must go. Leo will be on the lookout. <laughs> See ya. Natasha didn't want that abortion, did she? You regret that tattoo on your ankle, don't you? Why did you forget your sandwich today? Who are you? Get away from me, you freak! They like the organ. They just don't like the grinder. <laughs> Who knows about the monkeys? <laughs> I know! But it still freaked me out. How did you know my name? Good morning, Becca. How did you know about you? I know. Very weird. He was behind me, so he could have been listening to our conversation. I was with Nikki. But it's bizarre. Then he says something about not bringing my sandwiches. <laughs> and then later I realised I left my packed lunch on the kitchen table. Yeah. There's no way he could have known about that. I didn't even know it myself at the time. Do 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 do. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm at work, and my boss is in, so I'll speak to you later. Thanks, Tash. 
Okay. I love you, sis. Bye. Bye. Good weekend. Yeah, thanks. The uh, laughing gnome's looking for you. Jason. David's in a bad mood too. Not lost his temper this morning, just buried it in a shallow grave just below his face. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks. Well, I think it's showing at the Odeon this week, if you fancy seeing it. Got great reviews. Time Out said it was an outstanding and slightly twisted piece of genius. Uh, Daily Mail said... Jason, um... please, could you not talk to me about the Daily Mail? <sighs> oh, shit. I need to pop out for some lunch ready for my briefing at one. If, if David needs me, could you tell him that... Tell him you've popped out for ten minutes. Did you forget your packed lunch today, then? How did you know that? Oh, I... I overheard you on your, your phone this morning to your sister, Natasha. You got nothing better to do. Buongiorno. Hello. Uh, mozzarella, tomato, rocket, and a little bit of pesto and ciabatta. Oh, yeah. I'll make for you the best sandwich you ever tasted. Something out of this world. <laughs> Bet you say that to all the customers. Oh, no, <laughs> never. Well, only the gorgeous ones. For you, four pounds, sorry. Grazie. Thank you very much. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. You don't forget your sandwich tomorrow, eh, hey, darling? Is that you? Who are you? Stop following me. You better get going, sweetheart. You're going to be late. Ciao. I checked the times. It is on at the Odeon. It starts at 6.30. Catch it after work. Maybe a drink beforehand. What? Shit! Oh. Who the fuck put that there? Oh, that was me. I thought I'd give you a hand. With you being rushed off your feet today. Jesus, Jason, could you just keep out of my face today? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hi, David. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, been in two ticks. Sorry, David. Can't he give Jason any work to do today? He's really getting on my tits. Now, Becca, about the travel arrangements. What the fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Where's David? I'm calling security. <laughs> Who?
Who are you? What do you want from me? Pull yourself together, Becca. You know why I'm here. Yes. I know why you're here. Of course I know why you're here. I didn't think. It, it didn't seem like the right time. I've got so much. Bigger picture, Becca. Bigger picture. Better picture. I know it can be tough, moving from one life to another, especially when you've awakened to the higher concept but remain so emotionally engaged. I have to download Becca's data. You have another life waiting for you. And you are late. You know what you have to do.